Um, yeah, good baseball game. Tough one to tough pill to swallow there, you know. Um, at the end of the day, we just we just couldn't quite get that zero on the other half. I thought offensively we competed really hard. We had some good two out hits. We had some guys have some really nice days offensively. We fought hard. We played great defense. We just few too many guys on for free. I think we put eight eight guys on for free today, um, and I think about half those guys scored. So you know, credit those guys for for cashing in on on some mistakes there, but. At the end of the day, I, I've been in this spot before, and, and the biggest thing you have to do is, is not start looking too far ahead. We got a game at noon tomorrow against a good Stetson team, and we got a really good arm going tomorrow. So it's going to be all about it this time of year, just get to the next one. Get to the next day, man. Fight for one more day together. And, and that's what we're going to do. I, I, I trust that these kids are going to ring the bell, and we'll get back and get something to eat and get a good night's rest and, and come out ready to go tomorrow. And, and try to find a way to get it done tomorrow, and then, then we'll figure out, you know, Sunday when we'll get there. Um, but at the end of the day, you just you got to bite this thing up, man. You got to chop it up into bite-sized pieces. And the first, the first piece of that is Stetson tomorrow noon. Take questions, please. Quick turnaround. What do you know about Stetson, and how much more difficult does it make when it's so compressed? Yeah, you know, I, I've known Steve for a long time. Steve's put a lot of winning teams on the field. You know, from his times back at Maine till till their group here, man, they've got some danger. It's a little bit of a dangerous lineup. They get after a little bit. They throw on the ball really well. I think they're top 75 in the country in ERA. Um, you know, the big thing is for these guys to go get in bed and for us coaches to stay up and, and put a good game plan together and help them get ready to win. Coach, all seven of your RBIs came with two outs tonight. Just what do you have to say about this team's ability to get on, even though there's two outs? Yeah, I mean, it's big. You know, we, we, had, we had, I think, a couple of runs. There were two outs and nobody on base. And I say that all the time. It's a sign of a good offense. When you can score with two outs and nothing going, and you, you can set it up and score, it's huge. Um, you know, I thought we did a good job with our two out hits, man. We hit a couple homers with two outs. We we fought like head shoot. You know, Amy hit that ball okay, man. If it's, if it's a foot left or a foot right, Ronnie might be diving into home plate to score to tie that thing, but but unfortunately it wasn't, you know. So though we competed there with, with two outs really well, um, but again just just came up one short. Just, Justin, great game for you for you tonight. Four for four for five, true freshman. You managed to get a home run on the other side of the, this ballpark with so many lefties hitting hitting it out of right of right field. Just talk to me about your game tonight, how you're seeing the bat there. Yeah, no, no, definitely. Um, Saw the ball really well tonight, and um, my approach will be up and doing prior to this game, just sticking my approach, um, not um, trying to get too big, not trying to get too, too small, and just staying low. You know, that really helped me tonight. But for both TJ and Justin, what, what, would you, what did you notice out of UCF's pitching staff tonight that might have gotten to you guys later on in the game? Uh, I definitely do think that they attacked us. Um, they didn't really give up too many walks for free. Maybe a couple, but they really went at us, and they just, that's pretty much it. You, Coach, you ended up putting a majority of your lineup lefty tonight. You ended up take, taking advantage in that early part of the game with those homers out in right. How big was it to kind of adjust that lineup with given this ballpark we're playing? Well, it's really just, you know, that's our lineup. We run out there every game. You know, we're just a very lefty heavy team. And the one thing that I'll give our lefties credit is, I mean, they handle left handed arms at a really high level. I actually thought. It, it was going to be a little bit to our disadvantage because Stagliano's best pitch just change it. You know, it's a really good secondary pitch, and um, so you know, for me, it was it had nothing to do with changing anything. That's the lineup we ran out there with with lefties like that all year long, and and so no adjustment there. I, I thought they actually did a really good job. I think you count shoot on one hand the amount of times that we kind of broke our swing down on the changeup. Um, I thought we actually had really good at bats off him. And then they go to the lefty and made some good pitches, but I thought we took some decent swings off him and shoot all the way down to the end. I mean, TJ's last ball was hammered to left field, and two hours earlier, that's a homer, you know, but the wind dies down a little bit at night and he gets caught at the wall, and that's baseball. Ian's last swing was hammered to center a couple hours earlier, and I think probably burns him because of the way the wind's carrying it, and he just didn't. So I actually I thought our lineup did a really nice job of competing through that, but that's kind of their normal, you know, they're – we can drive the baseball, we can do some of that stuff, but it's a pretty lefty heavy lineup anyway. You got Castellano and Sosnowski out of the bullpen for UCF tonight, through three or two of their lowest three year races. What did you notice once the bullpens kind of came into the game? I thought, I think Brownie hit the nail on the head, man. They just, they attacked us. Like, it's a lot of strikes with multiple pitches, you know, and I think comparing and contrasting our guys that had success tonight, when they had success, we were ahead in the count, you know, and when we got in bad counts and we put guys on for free, it's amazing how much better hitter you become when you're in bad counts, you know, as a or in good counts as a hitter. Um, but yeah, I think I think that's one thing that they did a good job of is it just 
you stepped in, man, and it was multiple pitches and it was strikes. And, you know, their pitching coach does a great job. The guy was at Coastal for a long time. Um, he's really good at what he does. And I thought that was the key. I thought they just, they were ahead and made a lot of counts. And then you saw it, kind of same thing on there. And when they did get behind or they did put us on for free because they did walk and hit a, hit a couple guys. But, um, you know, we made them pay. I think we just, we put a few more on and, and they were able to cash in on that. Any more questions? What, what are you looking for this team now? Because you're going against Stetson tomorrow. What's the biggest thing you want to see for this team between now and then? Go to sleep, get hydrated, get some rest. It's a quick turnaround. We're out here at 10.30 for BP tomorrow. You know, So um, the rest of this thing, man, it, it's not about – we don't got to do anything different. You know, For, for me, we've got we've to be able to move past it. And that's what's hard this time of year. You know, Because that's an emotional game right there. I mean, it's one thing when you go out and you get beat 15-2 to two and you're never really in the game. and not that any of us want that, but there's there's one of these things where you see it coming a mile away. You know, you look at that game, I think the lead changed three times in the last hour of that game, you know, and, and so it's there's just a lot of emotion spent on that, and it hurts when you're on this side of it, and it should. You know, when you invest and you spend the time these kids spend, and this is not just our group, this is college athletes, when, when they spend the amount of time that they do preparing for this, and you send it, you know, we talked to Coach Oates last night, our, our basketball coach at Zoom with us, and that's what he said. He said, man, you guys you guys have been there against the best of the best. You've done it against the best of the best. If you're going to go out there and, and you fail, fail sending it. And shoot, I've got Teddy Roosevelt's man in the arena thing hanging up in my in my office. It's one of my favorite things. That's the whole thing, man. If you're going to fail, fail Darren greatly. And I thought this group did that. And it hurts when you do that. It hurts when you invest and you come up short. But at the end of the day, that's going to be the biggest key. Can you, can you just take a breath? We're going to be frustrated on the bus ride home, as we should be. Dinner's probably not going to be a super fun dinner tonight. But the second we go back to our room and we get in the shower and put our head on a pillow, we got to come out and beat Stetson tomorrow. That's the only mentality you have. We'll figure out Florida State. We'll figure out UCF if we have the opportunity to compete with them. But we got a good one going in Ben Hess tomorrow, and, and you line him up um, against anybody, I'll take Ben Hess. We're going to need a good start from him. We're going to need to execute offensively. Um, and if we do that, we can get our way to Sunday. We'll figure that out as we get there. Where else at? Catch up, man. Thank you.